what awful news. Um, when I went to photography school, we would always, and that's been 20 years ago now, actually more than 20 years ago, we always talk about the big photography institute on the West Coast, or as I now call it, the Left Coast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Brooks Institute. Photography is dead. I'm wearing this awesome hat from the crime scene unit of New York. It says red rum on the top of it, which is murder spelled backwards. Um, yeah, so uh, photography, things have changed. You know, I, uh, I love the fact that uh, we have decentralized education from these pathetic institutes that are nothing other than uh, places to suck your money. The only reason that college is, should exist is if you want to become a doctor, a lawyer, a electrical engineer, or uh, a couple of other things. But, uh, you know, in institutions of higher learning, they're nothing other than places to be brainwashed rather than educated. And, um, you know, people to get drunk. What did you do in college? I don't know. I got drunk and I showed up. And So, Brooks Institute is gone the largest uh, center for photographic learning. Actually, they were involved in a really nasty scandal. And then after the scandal, they never recovered. But even if they didn't get embroiled in that horrible scandal, they would have fallen into a pit anyway and had to shut their doors. Because photography has become decentralized. And I am... Uh, there is nothing on Earth I am more hardcore about uh, than information being free. This is also the same reason that I absolutely despise, despise right to the pits of hell and back, like evil places like Diaper and Pee Review, because there's all these little uh, Nazi, fascist, lunatic moderators lurking around, and you do not dare diverge from the herd. Bah! Moo! The herd mentality. You ever heard the term sheeple before? Sheeple. You mean you get a bunch of people that together and collectively they act like morons. This is the same thing that happened in 19, uh, late 1930s uh, Nazi Germany, you know, with a little moron with a uh, tiny mustache, you know, and his crazy ideas of, uh, you know. This is why, you know, <laughs> no, um, no. Uh, places, you know, I went to photography school, I mean, I have I ever said that that was just an awesome experience? I mean, I, I have to say no, because, um, you know, you could learn a lot more by going out there, grabbing some gear and going out there. I mean, you should learn stuff, obviously. I mean, this is all about learning. There's a famous movie line from, what is it, Good Will Hunting, where the uh, guy says, uh, well, something like, when did you realize that, uh, you know, you just wasted up teen thousands of dollars when you could have gotten the same thing with a, a, with a free library card? You know, you can you can teach people how to pass tests, and you can teach people various things, but it doesn't mean that they've uh, that they've uh, truly learned anything. Institutions of higher learning now are 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 not they're not nonsense. I mean, I don't want a doctor that's like, well, I'm self-trained. You know, actually, there have been some doctors in various countries that are totally self-trained and they apprenticed. You know. I would be happy to be operated on by a doctor with absolutely no medical certificate if that person had apprenticed for a number of years. You know, like, you know, you've got some senior uh, doctor and the person apprenticed for, you know, 10 years underneath him and he learned everything. I mean, anybody else would think that that is atrocious, but I mean, that's how the world has really worked. That's a whole thing that harkens back to Star Wars. You know, you have Master and Apprentice, and, you know, you have people that are known to be experts in their field. And, uh, anyway, uh, so Brooks Institute is gone, so I guess photography, uh, photography education is dead. It's like, no, it's not. It's become decentralized. And that's a good thing. Information is flowing freely. And, um, you know, you have to watch out, though. I mean, you have to... Uh, look at everything with a logical mind. Does this follow? I mean, I keep getting people that send me links to this crazy guy that looks like Santa Claus's uh, insane cousin. You know, he's this sh short little fat dude with uh, 
I'm not short. <laughs> With white hair, he looks like a, an insane Santa Claus. And even the people over at, uh, at Digital Rev have made fun of him. I mean, they're pissing themselves laughing over this dude that, like, picks up his camera. And he tries to convince you that this is a smart way to clean your sensor. He takes the lens off the camera and he goes, <laughs> And he just claims up down that that's the best way to lubricate your sensor for cleaning. He's like, you know, let me count the thousand ways, the thousand reasons why that is epically just, I mean, it's just, it's just bat crab crazy, you know, and so you have to watch out. I mean, you have to have, if you have a logical mind, then you can actually filter out the BS, you know, and that way you could actually educate yourself. If somebody doesn't have a logical foundation, it's like a discriminator within their mind to be able to say, this is BS, that's logical. This could go either way. Then uh, if uh, you try to self-educate yourself without that logical foundation, then you're, you, know, you might end up in some crazy cult, like crazy cult located in Florida that like, worships a, a dead science fiction writer. <laughs> so education has many pitfalls. But we used to talk about Brooks as, ooh, Brooks Institute. Oh, they're, uh, you know, man, that's the stuff right there. Yeah, and they're gone now over with. So the largest center of photographic education is now history. Good. So what? <laughs> so what? Um, I spent so many years in college and those years were wasted and no I didn't drink and party in college at all. Well I think I did once. I've been drunk maybe two times in my life and both of those times were in college. I can't see any fun in it. Oh, feel great for two hours, feel like crap for 200 hours. Um, I was self-taught almost everything. Um, I was self, even though I, I was a Russian major, I mean, I self-taught my, myself on everything. And everybody said that this guy speaks better Russian than the head of the Russian department at the university. And I did. And, uh, you know, some people just need to be led around like a bull with a ring in their nose. And, you know... Education is not for everybody, and what I mean by that is that doesn't mean that I'm saying that uh, you know I ever uh, advocate stupidity. I'm definitely not saying that. I mean, you know, places of learning are not really places. They're places to teach you, to brainwash you. It's like you know, this is what the truth is. Believe this. This is how you pass this test. You have to answer the question. It's like, well, humanity is still intellectually living in the dark ages. I mean. You know, the writings of, like, Plato and some of the wisest minds who ever lived, I mean, thousands of years ago, I mean, they're so far above and beyond the things that people think and do now. You know, we've progressed, we've progressed technologically, you know, oh, i got my Apple computer here. Well, that's great. That doesn't mean that you're, you know, let's, let's, let's have you match wits with Aristotle or Plato or Plotinus or some of these dudes that, like, died thousands of years ago. I mean, you're... You know, you're, 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 compared to them, you are no smarter than a cockroach. And uh, these people d didn't have degrees in anything. People that believe in, like, peer-reviewed, well, what, is your article peer-reviewed? Is your book peer-reviewed? I mean, where's your degree? You know, intelligence and wisdom speaks for itself, and they don't require a degree. I mean, where the hell did Shakespeare get his uh, diploma from? He didn't have one. What about Plato? Nope. What about Pythagoras? Nope. I mean, a piece of paper, papers are for dogs. Like, this dog has a pedigree. That's what papers are for. And, uh, you know, while we do like our electrical engineers and our, uh, <laughs> our doctors and lawyers to have degrees, really the only person that truly needs a degree is uh, like a lawyer because they have to know all this inane and insane BS. You know, somebody that's wise would have no problem letting somebody without a medical degree operate on, on them if they knew that person had apprenticed underneath, you know, a master surgeon or doctor for a number of years, and they knew what the hell they're doing. Who would you trust? Someone straight out of medical college with a, a medical degree? It's like, I just got out of college. Here's my degree. I'm a doctor. Well, good for you. That doesn't mean shit. Or someone without a medical degree that's been apprenticing underneath a master for 10 years. Well, if you're an idiot, you, you might take the person that just got out of medical school. And by the way, he was probably getting drunk and partying and like 
crunching really hard to pass those tests at the last minute. It's like, great, you got a medical. Doctors, this is a fact. Don't you know that like doctors are the second leading cause of death in hospitals? I mean, overprescribing, exploratory surgery, um, being too inv I mean, doctors, you know, right underneath cancer, or, and sometimes right next to cancer, it's like, oh, people are being killed left and right. Like, no, doctors are killing people left and right. People with degrees. So, you know, what you think an education is and what I know it is are more than likely two radically different things because, you know, teaching someone how to pass a test, that doesn't mean you've taught them anything. That does, certainly doesn't mean you've taught them how the hell to think. It sure as hell doesn't mean that. And that, you know, anybody that believes that's bullshit. It's like, what would you rather have? A guy that just graduated from medical school with a degree and, you know, he's a true doctor, or the guy that with no degree that's been uh, apprenticing underneath a master for 10 years. You know, answer me that one. If you pick A, then I'm going to say that you're an idiot. <laughs> there is no such thing as collective intelligence. Collective, here's a motto that I came up with ages ago. It's my own motto. And I live by this motto, and that is that nothing true is popular and nothing popular is true. And another motto that is uh, mine as well is that to insult a fool is the praise of wisdom. And uh, I live by those two things. Especially the one that nothing true is popular and nothing popular is true. You know? There's an ancient saying that's similar to that that says, uh, the wise love him for the same reason that fools hate him. You know, nobody should ever try to seek the approval of fools. If you do, then that means you yourself are a fool. Anyway, thanks for watching. I thought you'd like that note. It's like, oh, Brooks Institute of Photography. I mean, in photography school, we'd always talk about Brooks. It's like, now Brooks is gone. It's gone. <laughs>